U.S. stocks, they were off session lows Monday afternoon, this after tanking more than 200 points in the AM session as some Fed policymakers downplayed worries over the end to the central bank's bond buying program. Now, stocks were indeed sharply lower for most of the day amid worries the Federal Reserve stimulus measures may be winding down. Also, the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, over the weekend said it was time to end ultra-loose monetary policy and that current monetary policy in the United States, Eurozone, UK and Japan will not bring about much-needed labor and product market reforms and is indeed a recipe for failure. Meanwhile, the Shanghai Composite suffered its worst one-day sell-off in nearly four years. This after Goldman Sachs became the latest bank to downgrade China's growth outlook. The dollar also rallied against a basket of its major counterparts, trading near its highest level in almost three weeks. And with no major economic reports scheduled for release this session, it looked to be a rough start to the week for the big board. Speaking of which, taking a look now to see how the Dow Jones has performed. The Dow on the downside, triple digits, not 200 points as an early but down 139.84 points to settle in at 14,656.56. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin with shares of Apple, which briefly dropped below $400 a share for the first time since mid-April after Jeffries cut its price target on the tech giant to $405 a share from $420 a share, while also lowering its iPhone sales estimates for the third quarter. On the merger and acquisition front, Vodafone agreed to buy Germany's largest cable operator, Kabel Deutschland, for 7.7 .7 billion euros. And Tenet Healthcare said it is acquiring Vanguard Health Systems in a deal worth nearly $4.3 billion, that of which also includes debt.